Hello friends, welcome again. So in this video, we are going to filter the movies based on the text we type here. So if the uh, title of the movie includes the text we put here, it's going to remain in the list here. So let's go in the VS Code. And first, I'm going to do is add a, create a method and add a pointer of that method in this on change. The same thing we have done in the previous videos with, when we worked with on change. So let's go up here and create the method. And I'm going to say search movie, search movies handler. Okay. And this is going to be the same thing as what we have here. So let's cut this one and paste it here. And now add this search movies handler pointer to this uh, on change. So this dot search movies handler. If I save and let's go and check if everything works correctly, inspect element, go to the components and here is the search input. If I type something, it's going to update. Very good. Let's go back and now how we can uh, update the filter the movies. I'm going to use the filter method, the JavaScript filter method. So Here, I'm going to say after this state, I'm going to say const and I'm going to say filter at movies. Filter at movies is going to be with uh, this state movies filter. I'm going to filter now and this filter is going to return as a new array so we are not going to change the movies state here it's not a good idea to change the state and here i'm going to add a callback function okay we need to close this one and now this uh, filter is going to call the callback function on each element. So on each movie is going to call this callback function. And if it's true, so what condition we do here, if that is true, the element is going to mean on the array, is going to leave it on array. If it is false, it's going to remove from this array we get back. Okay. And here I'm going to say, I'm going to use the includes JavaScript method. So I'm going to say return okay. Now if the movie dot here we need to add the movie or you can name what you want. So it's the same thing with the map method we add that in here okay something similar and now if this movie title because we are going to search in the title if this movie title includes the string we type in the input so includes and here I'm going to say this dot state uh, dot search input. Okay. If that movie title includes what we type in the in here is going to remain in the array. Okay. Otherwise, it's going to remove from the array this filter method. Now if I save and 
we need to do one more thing because if I type something here, nothing change. Because we need the search from this filtered movies now, not from the state of the movie, because this is going to remain the same. This movies here is going to remain the same. So I'm going to get back the filter filter at movies. So let's say filter at movies here, filter at movies, save and go back. Now, if I type something, so let's say a legend and we get this only the legend here. And let's say a uh, doctor here. So let's copy that and paste it in here. We have only the doctor strange. And to be with you now to, s to show what we have done. So we add this input and on change, we call this, we add a pointer to this search movie, movies handler method. And this search movie handler accept the event. And we say const search create a constant with name search and assign to the event target value. So what we type to this input. So in this case, doctor. And we instantiated this search with a doctor and say this set state return the search input with this search. So now the, the search input in this state is doctor. If I inspect the components here, go to the app. And we can see the search input is doctor. And then we say constant uh, filtered movies, this set, this state movies filtered. And we call this filter is going to call this to every movie. And if it's going to return true, if the movie title includes this state search input. And it's a good idea. To, to do here, we have this let movie show movies, and I'm going to do, I'm going to say also get the search input from there, and also the movies. Okay. And now let's use movies like this, remove this search and also the search input. And if I save, it's going to be the same thing. So if I search for lion, Yeah, and you can see now uh, if I type just lion like this is uh, not working because here we have the L with the uppercase and this uh, includes is can case sensitive. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to say in here event target value to be uh, the local lowercase and the same thing let's do in the title and if I save and go back now and let's say lion yeah we have also the lion with lower L and let's uh, see here now is if it is everything correctly we say show movies search input and the movies from this state and i think we are okay we can get also the remove this search but i'm going to, le to leave it for now and that's it about this video how we can make a filtered movies
with React.js. I hope you understand and hope you like. And if you like, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like the video. See you in the next one. All the best.